Welcome to Dr. Josefina's Way. I am Dr. Josefina Monasterio, fitness expert, weight loss, and success coach. We have a great program for you today. You heard the saying, you either are part of the problem or are part of the solution. Well, my guest today is Steve Dorrance, and he is an executive director of the Treasure Coast Health foundation. The beauty with this program is that this is a concept that doesn't just apply to our local community, but it's a global problem. It's a global, it's a national issue also. So stay tuned because we're going to learn how people can take their ideas and make an impact and a difference in other people's life. This is the show that you need to stay. Call everybody, call your friends to watch this program. You nice and really, you, you know when you're ready to do the, the, the next asana. We go, you're gonna scroll the pigeon, and then here you're gonna have to find your center, okay? So you come, you come from the line down, up. Well, you can go even. This is another one that's good. It's called the dolphin. Now that we're here in this pose, we put my pants up. <laughs> okay, so ah, uh, here. This is fabulous for your shoulder. You know, women always trying to work on their shoulders. This is good for your shoulders because it's called the dolphin. So I'm here and it's like my, uh, my body has like a V, an inverted V. And then, boop, and go out and in. Out and in. Out, in, out, in out in and you can tell you're working those biceps you're working your tricep and you're working your back isn't that phenomenal i think it's hot <laughs> literally <laughs> okay so i was gonna show you the pigeon now so in this one we can sometimes this is kind of for some people hard but it's good to get into that pose too this is another yoga pose so you can start just sitting on your legs and very slowly then you can start separating and then you might get to this point here like this and then you keep going you keep going it's amazing how your body responds when you give the challenge the body's tendency is always toward health and well-being so let's go from here i'm gonna take my right leg bring it when I like sit on it bend it look at my center bring my hands up to the sky and bend, bend backwards and here you have to find your balance it's fabulous because you need to find your balance your focus your center we always out of alignment okay so find it okay. What you do to one side, you need to do it to, do it to the other side. Now, I'd like to give you the big picture of that. Back, right leg, arms up to the sky. grab your foot and stretch and you feel the quads being stretched ouch nice okay the legs the next leg leg the right Back to relaxing pose, Savasana. You feel nice, you feel all that stretch, your whole body stretch, all your muscles. You feel the energy circulating, you feel that you really releasing all the blockages that takes your energy and blocks your energy. 
So you feel exhausted, you feel tired, you feel drained, you feel with lack, that sense of lack of energy that people tell me all the time. Because we, we get so constipated through the whole body. And, and the energy, blocking the, the passages of energy. And, and, and yoga is called the chakras. And we have more than 3,000 chakras. And the constant bombard, the stimuli from the outside world is constantly coming to you and we don't, have, we don't make the time to let it go. Like me now. Okay, we are here, back at the gym, but now you don't have excuses to say, well, I can't make it to the gym because you don't, there is no excuses. Mickey, tell us, tell them why there is no more excuses because we have this. We have bands. Yeah! It is a gym with handles. It's right there. It's an elastic tubing with handles. I like that name. A gym with handles. A gym with handles. You can take it with you when you're traveling. It's neat in a suitcase, your purse, anywhere. First exercise I'm going to have Josefina do is called hip abduction. And what is hip abduction? It is working what we ladies call saddlebacks. Ah. But the most important reason for doing this exercise is for hip stabilization. Okay. okay. So we're going to stand with the band, shoulder width apart, as you see Josefina is. I'm just going to make a couple little corrections here. First of all, we want to make sure that the core is engaged. What that means is the belly button is drawn into the spine, pelvic floor up. It's going to shift your elbows a little more forward, not like your that? body, My just your elbows okay. right there. And she's going to just simply bring her leg out to the side. Up to the side. And then back in, keeping uh -huh. resistance on the band. Wow, Mickey, that is it's a lot harder more than more difficult. Looks. Now there are different levels of bands. What we have right now is a red band, and depending on the company, um, they color code them to resistance. We are actually using a medium red band, but because Josefina has her arms in an arm curl position, she's isometrically working her biceps as well as working again the what's wow. called sorry the yes. hip thing. <laughs> And balance, also, you're working. Yes, it's <laughs> very, very difficult. I can walk it. <laughs> as, okay. And you can also do walking dance. Before. Yes. That'll be an, an, okay. another segment. Okay, next. Um, next is a seated squat with an arm curl. Oh, now, so, my feet will be together. You, you want to have them relaxed, so just about shoulder width apart. Okay. Again, you want to keep in mind your core. Okay? We don't want the elbows racing out in front. We want to keep those elbows into our rib cage. And it is simply like you're sitting on a chair, oh, you curl baby, up yes. and then relax it back down. So you don't have to keep that contraction. So as you're coming down, okay, relax your arms, bring your arms down. Now as you come up. Oh, bent, okay. Okay, just like you're sitting on a chair, you're gonna sit down on my lap. There you go. The glutes are responsible for what's called hip flexion. So in order to engage them, you have to like sit on a chair and yes. come up. And you're you working your bicep too? You're working your biceps too. You don't want to just bend at the trunk. You want to sit on a chair. Oh, yeah, that makes yeah, sure you yeah. get that flexion and extension in there too. Straighten those arms out. Okay. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Straighten the arms. Straight. Now squat and curl. That's it. Ah. And then you go down. That's throwing you off balance. That's my problem. Again, okay. again, again, again. But we want to make sure that Let's the form is perfect. Okay. Okay. Start with your arms. Uh huh. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Now straighten your arms. Straighten your arms. There we go. Now when you come, you're going to come down into the squat. At the same time you're squatting is when you're going to do your curl. Squat. Good. Yeah. Oh, there that feels go. better. That's it. Now you have. It's a little coordination. Yes. A little balance. But again, it's a it's a multifunctional exercise. Bicep strength and hip strength. Wow, this is an awesome workout. Yeah. I mean, it works everything. Balance, I mean. Exactly. Anything else, Mickey? Well, and again, as, as we get older, we start losing our sense of balance at about age 35. So it's great to incorporate these little, um, even if you're you know, typically working in a gym, grab those bands. You can do a million things with them. Okay. Awesome. Okay, bye. <laughs>